If you often meet who is the smartest person in the room, if you're at a party and the smartest person in the room, ask them, were you a natural birth and were you breastfed? And I bet you if they come back with an answer, they were breastfed and that they were a natural birth because it creates people that are bigger, better, stronger. And wow. you may have to sacrifice nine months for fertility, nine months of the pregnancy, and maybe those first nine months or you know, two years breastfeeding. But for the next 18 years of your life, it's going to be very simple for you. You can bring your baby to yoga and they can sit there next to you and everybody's done. You have a baby, my baby would cry. And you're like, well, my baby's optimal baby. I work with Tom. Like my baby <laughs> doesn't, my babies don't cry. They don't get rashes. They don't get ear infections. They don't have, oh, I got to take my, oh, I have this blood thing and or any of that stuff. And it's from the natural birth and it's from the breastfeeding. And the last tip, if you do move into maybe just breastfeed in the morning at night and you pump and do a bottle, you have to label those bottles. When you pump milk in the morning, it's designed for the baby in the morning. So a lot of people will pump morning milk and give it to a baby at night. It's got all the hormones for creating energy and going through the day. And you're giving that to the baby at night and wondering wow. what the baby wants to be. And then the same thing with milk at night. If you pump milk from the night, you got to label at night and give it to the baby later in the evening because that's got all the hormones and everything mom produced to put the baby to sleep. 